Hello and welcome to this short video on whether you should be registered with your business for VAT. My name is Stuart Ramsey and I'm the Managing Director of Accountancy Extra, a firm of Chartered Management Accountants based in Halifax in West Yorkshire. Now whilst this video will give you a good start on whether you should be registered for VAT or not, there's never any substitute for proper professional advice and if you'd like to talk to me about any of the issues raised in the video, please give me a call on 01422 365 981 or email me at stuart at accountancyextra.co.uk and I'll be more than happy to answer any questions that you have. The first thing you need to remember is that you must register for VAT if your turnover in the preceding 12 months has exceeded the threshold set by HMRC. You must note that this 12 month period is not a financial year, it's not a calendar year, it is the immediate preceding 12 months prior to today's date. The current level, the threshold level set by HMRC is £77,000 as we record this video in July 2012. Now what we found is that there are clients who um, have need a method of listing out their turnover month by month to see when they're exceeding the threshold. So we put together a little spreadsheet tool to help them do that and by entering their turnover each month it tells them on a rolling basis when they've exceeded the VAT threshold. If you'd like a copy of that tool to help you with your business, please just drop me an email at the uh, email address that I've showed on the previous uh, page and uh, I'll get a copy of that tool emailed to you immediately. So once you've exceeded the threshold and have to register for VAT, what that means is you have to charge all your customers VAT at 20% on top of the price that you'd normally charge them. So if you normally bill them £1,000, you now have to bill them £1,000 plus 20% VAT, or 1200 quid. But what it does mean is that you can reclaim the VAT on the stuff that you buy on your purchases, and you just pay the net amount across to HMRC. So let's look at a quick example. If the VAT on our sales, which is called Output VAT, was £200, and the VAT that we've spent on stuff that we've bought on our purchases, the Input VAT, is £75, we pay to HMRC the net of those two numbers, i.e. £125. However, what happens if your turnover is below the threshold? Should you register for VAT voluntarily? Well, the answer is it depends, and it depends on the type of business that you're running. If you're running a business-to-business -business type business, so maybe you're a consultant, a web designer, or you're in business services, or maybe a commercial tradesman, then it's more than likely that the customers that you serve are VAT registered themselves. Therefore, they won't mind you charging VAT on the invoices that you send to them because they'll be able to claim it back as a purchase VAT on their VAT return. However, it might be beneficial for you to register as, as uh, for VAT because it also means that you can claim the VAT back on the purchases that you're already making in your business. However, if you sell business to consumers, so maybe you're a cafe, a takeaway, a restaurant, or you work with um, domestic trades, then it might not be worth registering for VAT until you absolutely have to, because the people that you're selling to can't claim that back. So you either have to increase the prices that you're charging them, or absorb the VAT yourself um, in your margins. So what are our top tips if you do have to become VAT registered? Well the first one is to use cash accounting. What this means is that you don't pay any VAT across to the VAT man until you've been paid by your customers. What it also means is that you can't reclaim any VAT on the purchases you make until you pay your suppliers. Always get proper advice. Always make sure that the advice you're getting is bespoke and tailored to your particular needs. Don't be late registering for VAT, filing VAT returns or paying your VAT. HMRC have some very severe penalties for being late on any of those issues. And consider using one of the VAT schemes that HMRC make available, such as the annual accounting scheme, where you only have to file one VAT return a year, or the flat rate scheme. Now the flat rate scheme has proved very, very popular along amongst a lot of our small businesses. So here's our quick guide to what the flat rate scheme is and how it might be used by you. 
Essentially, if your business turns over less than £150,000, you can register to use the flat rate VAT scheme. However, if you do register, it means you can't claim any VAT on any of the purchases that you make. So how does it work? Well, quite simply, you still invoice your customers with VAT at 20%, just as normal. However, HMRC then issue a series of advisory rates, dependent upon the industry that you're in, of the amount of VAT that you have to pay over to them. One thing worth noting is that these rates are a percentage of the gross amount that you collect from your customers. So it's um, a percentage of the amount including VAT that you've in uh, collected from your customers. So how does that work in practice? Well here's the maths. We still charge our customer £1,000 plus VAT and we collect £200 from them. Let's say our advisory rate from HMRC is 14%. That means that we take 14% of the gross amount collected, £1,200, and we pay that across the VATMAN, i.e. we pay £168 in VAT. So we've collected £200, and then we've paid to HMRC £168. The difference of £32 between the £200 and £168 is there to cover the VAT we've suffered on our purchases. As I said earlier in this video, um, nothing can beat specific advice. So if you've got any questions raised by the video, do give me a call on 01422 365981 or drop me an email at stuartaccountancyextra.co.uk and I'll be happy to answer any questions you might have or send you a copy of our VAT tracking spreadsheet. Thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you on a future video.